So I have a cache available, let's uh, solve some example here, how to use the table. Here in this example, we have a mass of 200 gram of saturated liquid water. So in this case, the working fluid is water. That means actually I'm going to use the same table in this case. So I have to decide first about the working fluid. So here in this case, we said we have water, then we will be using actually the steam table. He said we have a mass. So the mass is equal to, in this case, 200 gram. Or we have to divide by 10 to the power 3 to convert it actually to, to, to a kilogram. Then the mass actually is equal to 0.2 kilogram of water. He said actually of saturated liquid water. Saturated liquid water, that means actually the state is saturated liquid. So the quality at the state number one of this water, X1, is equal to is equal to zero. So we have in this case here, we have saturated liquid. Saturated liquid, that means actually the state is saturated liquid and the quality of the mixture is equal to zero. And all the properties are equal to the saturated liquid properties. He said actually this steam has been completely vaporized under constant pressure. So let's say actually this is water under saturated liquid condition. We have just added heat here under constant pressure. Constant pressure, if you have, that means actually this piston is just a free to move <coughs> up or down, depending on heat is added or ejected in this case. <coughs> he may not tell you directly that the pressure is constant, but if he told you that the piston is free to move, Free movement of the piston, that means actually the pressure in this case will be remaining constant in this case. So the pressure P1, <coughs> which is the same as B2, is equal to 100, <coughs> 100 kilopascal. <coughs> and they said this water is completely vaporized. Completely vaporized, that means it has converted to the saturated vapor state. Saturated vapor state, that means the quality X2 of the mixture is equal to 1 in this case. Or the state is is saturated liquid. Okay, so we just we have water has been converted from the saturated liquid state <coughs> and pressure B1 equal to 100 kilopascal and the quality equal to zero in this case, of course, and has been converted actually to saturated vapor X is equal to one at the same pressure which is equal to 100 kilopascal. And we need to calculate in this case the change of volume. And we need also to calculate the amount of energy added while this process to convert the water from the liquid phase to the vapor phase in this case. Type, let's solve this if you have. So in this case, the change of volume will equal to the total volume V2 minus <coughs> total volume V1. Or it is equal to mass multiplied by specific volume V2 minus a specific volume V1. Type, in this case, the state number one, at state number one, we said to use the table, we have to have two independent and intensive properties. So at state number one, <coughs> B1 is equal to 100 kilopascal and the quality X1 is equal to zero. So as the quality is given, so the state is saturated. In this case, I will be using the saturated table in this case. But we say that if the pressure is given, I will be going to table A5. If temperature is given, I will be using table A4. Pressure is given, then in this case, I will be going to table A5. I need to calculate in this case the specific volume B1. The state is saturated liquid, so that means B1 is equal to V fluid in this case, okay? <clears throat> and here, you can just look at the table, at table A4, pressure 100 kilopascal, yes, this is the specific volume V1. <clears throat> so specific volume V1 will equal to V fluid, which is 0 0.0, <clears throat> 0 0.00143 kilogram per, uh, meter cube per kilogram. So the unit, is meter cube per kilogram in this case. And this is actually the specific volume, the specific volume V fluid. But what about the specific volume V2? At point number two, this is point number one. At point number two, V2 is 100, is 100 kilopascal. So if you have, this is the pressure, V2 is the same 100 kilopascal, and the quality of the mixture X, X2 is equal to one in this case. And when I go to table layer five in this case, so go to the same table. In this case, actually, the value of a specific volume V2, as it is saturated vapor, it will equal to V gas in this case, 1.672 something. So in this case, we can get the specific volume V2 at point number two from table A5. Pressure V2 equal to 100 kilopascal, and the quality X2 is equal to 1. Then in this case, we can get the specific volume V2 will equal to V gas in this case.
And to calculate the total change of the volume, then in this case, we can just multiply by the mass multiplied by specific volume V2 minus V1. So V2 is equal to V gas at this pressure. You can get this value. There is a slight difference between the value on the slide from the table by Moran and Shabiro and the table by Yunus So that doesn't matter much. So a meter cube per, per kilogram. Then we can just substitute here. So the change of volume V will equal to mass. Mass is 0.2 kilogram multiplied by V2, which is 1.6931 minus V1.0014. OK, so when you can calculate this, we can calculate the total change of volume will be 0.3386 meter cube. OK, so this is actually the change of volume in meter cube in this case. But what about the amount of energy added to this process? In this case, the case is just determined from the saturated liquid state to the saturated vapor state. So that means actually the amount of heat added is equal to the latent heat of vaporization. And we have defined actually the latent heat of vaporization as equal to what? HFG, which is the difference between H gas minus H fluid or the enthalpy of saturated vapor minus the enthalpy of saturated liquid. If we define and multiply this by the mass, then we can calculate actually the total energy, which is actually called as latent heat of vaporization, the amount of heat required to convert the phase from saturated liquid to saturated vapor. That will equal to mass is 0.2, and from the table, HFG at pressure equal to 100 kilopascal, because the pressure is constant here actually is HFG, this is the column, and at this pressure value, this is actually the value of HFG, which is 2, 2, 2, model 2, 5, 7.5 kilojoule per kilogram. If I multiply by kilogram, then we can calculate the total heat added, which is equal to 451.5 kilojoules. Okay, and this is actually the amount of heat added to convert the phase from saturated from saturated liquid to the saturated vapor phase. In any process, you will be asked, just asked to represent the process on both actually BV diagram and TV diagram name, okay? With respect to the saturation curve, okay? So you have to be able to represent this process. So let's look first on the TV diagram, how we can represent this process of phase change of water on the TV diagram with respect to the saturation curve. So this is just the saturation curve. On the TV diagram, this is a line of constant temperature. Okay, so this line of constant temperature. But we, did, we said step number one was saturated liquid. This is actually the line of pressure equal to 100 kilopascal. Okay, step number one was saturated liquid, and it has been converted under constant temperature. So following this line until the state actually is saturated vapor at state number two, okay? So you have to represent this process. This is the representation on the TV diagram with respect to actually to the saturation curve. This is actually our saturation curve, and this is actually the process. But can we represent this process also in the BV diagram? This is the BV diagram, and this is also our saturation curve, okay? The line representing constant temperature on the TV diagram, this is line actually of constant temperature. Okay, so in state number one, we just have actually saturated liquid, and then it has been converted while the phase exchange process under constant temperature and constant temperature. This is a TV diagram, so line of constant temperature could be just horizontal line until we reach actually state number two, which is saturated vapor in this case. And this is the representation on the TV diagram. Okay. So here is also another example here on uh, the refrigerant. Here you see that actually we have 80 liter. 80 liter, that means we are given the volume in this case. Volume in liter. Like to convert from liter to meter cube, we have to divide by 10 to the power 3 or multiply by 10 to the power minus 3 in this case. Okay. And he said, actually, this 80 liter 
vessel contains actually 4 kilogram of refrigerant 134A. So in this case, actually that's the working fluid is refrigerant, not steam, because there is a common actually error that occur in your exam. We have the working fluid is refrigerant, and you just go to use the steam table, because we just represented all of the process how to use the table on a steam table. But as I told you, you can apply the same process for the refrigeration table. So you have to decide first on any problems or working fluid. So in this case, we have refrigerant 134A, which is actually the only refrigerant to consider in this course. So in this case, I will be using table A11 and A12 for the saturation zone. And for the superheated zone, I will be using table A13. We don't have subcooled region in this case, okay? Or subcooled table. So he said we have 80 liter vessel, so the volume actually is equal to 80 liter. Multiplied from first by 10 to the power minus 3 to convert it to meter cube. So we have the volume is 0.8 meter cube. Okay. This is actually the 80 liter vessel. This is the vessel here. Contains actually a refrigerant R134A. This refrigerant actually inside the mass of this refrigerant is equal to 4 kilogram of this refrigerant. Okay. Existing at pressure equal to 160 kilopascal. So pressure B1 is equal to actually 160, 160 kilopascal, okay? And we need to calculate in this case, we need to calculate the temperature. We need also to calculate the quality of the mixture X. He asked it for the quality of the mixture, but we have to decide. We don't know the state is either subcooled, saturated or superheated. Maybe he just confusing you with ask, asking about the quality. Just to decide directly this is saturated mixture, no. We have to check first, either it is subcooled, saturated, or so or so what it is. Okay? And we need also to calculate the insult pH, and also we need to calculate the volume occupied by the gas, the total volume of the gas. Okay? But first of all, what is given here, in order to use the table, we have to have two independent and intensive problems. So the pressure B1 is equal to 160. Kilopascal. Do we have another property at this state? Volume is given and mass. Mass is given. Then we can calculate what a specific volume. We need to have a shabab independent and the intensive property. So the volume is not a property, intensive property. Okay, this is a total property, extensive. We need to calculate the intensive property, which is actually the specific one, which is the volume per unit mass which is equal to the volume, 0.8, the unit mass, which is 4, that will be 0.02 meter cube per kilogram. So now we have two properties, pressure with one specific property, which is a specific one. So what should we do in this case? Which table? Table A4 or A5? A4 if temperature is given, A5 if pressure is given. But actually, we will not be using either table A4 or A5, because the working include in this case is what? As a refrigerant. So we said in case of refrigerant, instead of A4 and A5, I will be using A11 and, and A12 in this case. A11 if the temperature is given, A12 if the pressure is given. So in this case, I will be go to table A11, and in this case, we are given a specific volume. So from table A, A, A12, I will get actually the specific volume B fluid and B gas. Then we can compare it actually with the given specific volume value. And we can decide about the state actually of this effect. Now so let's look here in this table. Let's go to table A12 from the tables. This is table A11, <coughs> starting with temperature. This is table A12. We need that pressure equal to 160. We need the specific volume V fluid, which is equal to 0.007. Or point or seven something, and uh, specific volume V gas is equal to point one two three four A. Okay, and this is actually the value of a specific volume V fluid and the specific volume V gas. Now V fluid is point oh seven something, and V gas is equal to point one two. That means actually the given specific volume is between V fluid and V gas. So in this case, the specific volume is greater than V fluid and less than V gas. That means the state is saturated mixture. So we have saturated mixture in this case. And in this case, actually, we say by the physics change of process, 
this pressure we call it the saturation pressure and the temperature beside this pressure we call it the saturation temperature and in this case the saturation temperature at this pressure equal to 160 kilopascal, the saturation temperature is minus 15.6. So the temperature at this state is equal to minus 15.6 degrees. And this is actually the temperature of the saturated mixture in this case. And we said when the state is saturated mixture, in this case we have to calculate the value of X. And he is asking actually about the value of X. So in this case X, or the quality of the mixture, will equal to D minus B flow divided by D gas minus B gas minus B flow. Given the volume is 0.02, we have calculated minus B fluid or 0.007 divided by V gas 0.12348 minus B fluid 0.007 something. Okay, then we can calculate the value of the quality of the mixture in this case to equal to 0.15. 157. If I need to calculate the other properties like in Salvi and the other properties, then in this case we can get actually from the table the value of H fluid and HFG, and then we can calculate the Salvi using the relation as function of the quality X. In this case, then Salvi H will equal H fluid plus X multiplied by HFG. And from the table, a day 12 at this given pressure 160 kilopascal, we can get H fluid and HFG. You can look here from this table. At this pressure, this is actually H fluid and HFG. Those two values, then at actually those pressure, we can get those two values. This is the value of H fluid and the value of HFG, which is H gas minus H fluid. Then we can just substitute. Uh, we can just substitute here in this case. H will equal to H fluid, which is 31.2, plus X 0.157 multiplied by HFG, which is 209.9. Then we can calculate the value of the value of the ensemble in this case. Type if I need to calculate the volume occupied by the gas in this case. Okay, now we can calculate the volume occupied by the gas. We have saturated mixture, liquid plus gas. Okay, so in this case, the volume of the gas should equal to what? the specific volume V gas multiplied by what? <coughs> Mass of gas. Okay, so the specific volume is equal to the total volume divided by divided by the mass of gas. We have a specific volume V gas. We have already this value, this value from the table. Then we can calculate the total volume will equal to the specific volume V gas multiplied by mass of gas. But how we can calculate the mass of gas? We have the quality of the mixture X is equal to mass of gas divided by the total mass, which is mass of fluid plus mass of gas. Total mass is given, 4. Then in this case, the mass of gas will equal to the quality X, which is 4.157 multiplied by the total mass, which is 4. And then we, can, then we can calculate this mass of gas. Just to multiply this mass of gas, multiplied by the specific volume B gas from the table, which is 0.12348, then we can calculate the total volume occupied by the gas in meter cube. Okay, so here is the situation. Here is the case. So how we can represent this process, as well, on uh, the BV diagram? This is a point, not a process. Given a point at pressure, pressure is given, and we have the specific volume, and we put the state actually is saturated liquid plus vapor mixture. Then we can just say on the pressure specific volume diagram. This is the saturation curve. At a given actually, on the BV diagram, at a given pressure, this line represents a line of constant temperature, let's say, and at a given point here, we say have saturated liquid plus vapor mixture. So at any point here, we can just locate point one with respect to the saturation curve between saturated liquid and, and saturated vapor. Okay. Uh, so here, also, yeah, I need some other examples. Here, I yeah, need a detailed one. Type, let's look here Shabab, for those examples. Here, given actually the pressure is given in this case is equal to 400 for the first case. This is actually we need to calculate the properties of water using a steam table. Pressure is given 0.1, 400 kilopascal, and the quality X is given. So as the quality X is given, that 
means the state is saturated mixture in this case. But he gives a value of x equal to zero, that means the state is saturated liquid. So all the properties will equal to the saturated liquid properties. So a specific volume will equal to V fluid and salt B will equal to H fluid. And in this case, as the state is saturated mixture, so the temperature will equal to T saturation at this given pressure. So using given this pressure, I will be go to table A5. Pressure is equal to 400 kilopascal. Pressure 400 kilopascal. From table A5, I will go up until I can see actually table A5. This is table A4, this is table A5. At pressure equal to 400 kilopascal. This is a pressure 400 kilopascal. Then in this case, we can get X is equal to zero. So all the properties will equal to saturated liquid properties. So the specific volume will equal to V fluid, which is this value from this table we can list here. And also the insolvi. Insolvi in this case will equal to, insolvi will equal to H fluid, which is equal to 604.6 kilojoule per kilogram. And the temperature will equal to the saturation temperature, which is 143.61. For the other point which you have here, the second point, pressure is given. In this case, 2000 kilopascal and temperature is equal to 600. So in this case, we say that pressure and temperature are given. Either I can go with this pressure to table A5 or with this temperature to table A4. So I, let's say I will take this pressure and go to table A5. Pressure is equal to 2000 kilopascal. So that is the pressure value of 2000 kilopascal. And in this case, with this pressure from table A5, I will get the saturation temperature. So T saturation is equal to 212. That means actually the given temperature is greater than the saturation temperature. T is greater than T saturation. So the state is, the state in this case is superheated. We don't have the value of X not applied in this case. And at this pressure and this temperature, I can just use table A6. So this is table A6 at pressure equal to 2000 kilopascal. Pressure here is given in megapascal. So to convert from kilopascal to megapascal, I have to divide by 1000. So 2000 kilopascal will equal to 2 megapascal. So let's look here for a pressure in table A6. Pressure is equal to 2 megapascal here. This is the pressure table. And temperature is equal to 600 degrees C. Then I will go here. Then I can read the properties from the table. I can read actually specific volume, 1.19962, and also I can read the internal energy, I can read the insolvency and the entropy in this case. Type here for this example, given the temperature and the quality X. As the quality X is given, so the state directly is saturated mixture. We have saturated mixture in this case because the value of the quality of the mixture X only applied when we have saturated liquid plus vapor mixture. So that means in this case, at this temperature from table A4, temperature is given. I will be going just to table A4. This temperature is equal to 240. This is the temperature from table A4. And in this case, we can get the value as it is saturated mixture and the value of the quality of the mixture X is given. To calculate the specific volume, I will get V fluid at this value and get also the value of V gas. Then we can substitute volume will equal to specific volume will equal to V fluid plus X multiplied by VFG, which is V gas minus V fluid. As a value of VFG is not listed in the table, yani it is just the difference between V gas minus V fluid. Like this, then Salbi will equal to H fluid plus X multiplied by HFG, which are the values that we can get from the table. Type here again, given pressure of 5,000 kilopascal, and temperature is equal to 120. Okay. So in this case, as you we said that when the pressure and temperature are given, like this case, we can take the pressure or go to table A5 or with the temperature and go to table A4. As I told you, I prefer to take the pressure when pressure and temperature are given to go to table A5. Then I will get the saturation temperature and compare it with the given with the given temperature in this case. Okay. If the given temperature is greater than the saturation, so the state is superheated. If it is less than the saturation, the state is softer. Or you can do the opposite. You can take this temperature, go to table A4 with this temperature, let's say here, with this temperature equal to 120. So this is table A4 with temperature equal to 120. 
This is the temperature one two. The pressure saturation pressure is equal to 198. Compare it with the given pressure. Okay. So in this case, the saturation pressure is less than. Uh, sorry, the saturation pressure is one. Uh, 198.6 kilopascal. So the saturation pressure at the given temperature is less than actually less than the given. So the given pressure, sorry, is higher than the saturation pressure. So we compare the given pressure at this temperature with the saturation pressure. Okay. So in this case, we find the pressure given is greater than the saturation pressure. So P is greater than the saturation pressure. That means the state is what is compressed liquid in this case. Okay. As I told you, you will get confused يعني, when you use the temperature. So if pressure and temperature are given, just take the pressure. Instead of table A4, just use table A5 at pressure equal to 5,000 kilopascal. I will get the saturation temperature, 2,6. Compare it with the given temperature. The given temperature, 120, is less than the saturation temperature. So the state is subcooled. Subcooled, in this case, I have to use table A7. So this is table, go down until we reach table A7. We need a pressure 5,000 kilopascal or 5 megapascal, the first pressure table. And in this case, temperature equal to 120. Then we can read the values of properties of specific volume, internal energy, and solvy, and entropy, and all properties we can read in this case. Okay? So in case, this is actually for water or steam. Actually, the same steps are applied in case of refrigerant. In this case, and instead of using table A4 and A5, I'll be using actually table A11 and A12. And then instead of using actually table A6, which is a superheated steam, I will be using actually table A13 in case of uh, in case of refrigerant. Okay. Type. This is all what about uh, all about actually the table how to use a steam table and refrigeration and refrigeration table. Uh, as a matter of fact, for steam and refrigerant, we don't have a relation that actually relate all of the properties so that we can substitute. If we have two properties, then we can just substitute in this relation and get the other properties. In this case of steam or refrigerant, we don't have this relation. That's why they have tested steam and refrigerant under different pressure and different temperature, and they have actually calculated all the properties and listed actually those properties in the table, then we can actually use those table directly. Because we don't have a relation that relate all of these properties. Okay? Type in case of ideal gas. In case of ideal gas, actually, we don't need actually to have tables in this case, because we have what we call actually the ideal gas equation of the state. So in case of ideal gas, which is actually another topic in this chapter, in this case, actually, to calculate the properties, in this case, we can apply the ideal gas equation of steam. So the ideal gas equation of steam. I think you have an idea about the ideal gas equation of state, actually, which is applied only to the case of ideal gases. The equation is state, actually, BV is equal to MR multiplied by T. So in this case, if I do have two properties, let's say pressure and volume, then we can substitute in this relation to calculate the temperature. And if we have temperature, let's say, and the volume, then we can substitute to calculate the pressure in this case. So in case when we have an ideal gas, we don't need to have tables in this case, just we can apply the ideal gas equation of a state. And this ideal gas equation of a state, this pressure actually should be actually the absolute pressure. Actually, in any equation, in your engineering life, in any equation, the pressure should be substituted by the gauge pressure, except in the ideal gas equation of the state. This pressure value should be the absolute value. Okay? So in this case, we have defined the absolute pressure is equal to the gauge pressure plus, plus the atmospheric pressure. So if the pressure is given in the gauge pressure, then in this case, we have to add the atmospheric pressure, which is actually about 100 if the value any is not given, okay? Then in this case, we have to substitute this pressure with the absolute pressure. Usually this pressure, we have to substitute actually its value in kilopascal, and this volume is the total volume calculated in meter cube. This is the mass of the gas calculated in kilogram. R is the gas constant calculated actually in kilojoule per per kilogram Kelvin, and the gas constant R is defined as the R universal or R bar, 
we call it actually the universal gas constant divided by the molecular weight of this gas. And then this is actually the molecular weight of the gas calculated in kilogram per kilogram per kilogram. And the universal gas constant, the value of the universal gas constant is fixed for all gases, 8.314 kilojoule per kilomole per kilomole kilo. Okay, this is the value of the universal gas constant. Okay, and the value of R, the gas constant, and the molecular weight of a list of gases can just be calculated from table, from table A1. If you look at this table, table A1, you'll find here a list of substance starting with air. We have the chemical formula. Air actually does not have chemical formula because it is a mixture of gases. And the given actually is a molecular weight in kilogram per kilomole, and the value of the gas constant is given in this case. Okay. Actually, the gas constant R, as we said, can be calculated for any gas using the value of universal gas constant, which is 8.314 divided by the molecular weight. We can get the gas constant in this case. But in case of any ideal gas, I will be using table A1 to calculate the gas constant and the molecular weight. Okay. And here actually is the last term in the ideal gas equation of state is the temperature calculated in Kelvin. And the temperature in Kelvin, as you know, is equal to the temperature in degree C plus 273.15. Okay. So the temperature in this equation, if you have, and this is a common error also in your calculation, this temperature has to be calculated in has to be calculated in Kelvin in this case. Okay. So if, if we divide this equation by mass. Then this term will disappear, and here this will be volume by mass. Then in this case, it will be a specific volume. Then we can have another form of the ideal gas equation of state in terms of the intensive property for a specific volume. B multiplied by specific volume will equal to R multiplied by temperature E, and this is the specific volume calculated in meter cube per, meter cube per kilogram. Okay. Uh, this is the ideal gas equation of the state using actually the representation in the total volume and also the representation in terms of the specific volume. Five, let's see actually the form actually of ideal gas equation of state. And the form is it is called actually the molar form of the ideal gas equation of state. So instead of using mass, I will be using the number of moles in this case. Okay. So if we have the mass. Now we can relate the mass with the number of moles. We have the mass for any gas is equal to the number of moles multiplied by the molecular weight. Number of moles, this is calculated in kilomole, and this molecular weight is calculated in kilogram per kilogram per kilomole. So kilomole multiplied by kilogram per kilomole, then the mass will be in kilogram in this case. Type, so let's substitute this actually in the ideal gas equation of state. BV is equal to M, which is N multiplied by molecular weight. This is actually the M. BV equal to M multiplied by R, R which is R bar or R universal divided by the molecular weight multiplied by the temperature, the temperature T. So molecular weight will go with the molecular weight. Then we can have this form of ideal gas equation of state. BV will equal to a number of kilomoles N multiplied by R bar multiplied by the temperature, multiplied by the temperature. Okay, N is the number of kilomoles in this case. And the R bar is the gas constant, which is 8.314 kilojoule per kilojoule per kilomole. And the temperature in Kelvin in this case. If we define this total volume by the number of moles, we can call it actually as the molar specific volume. So we can have P multiplied by specific volume V bar. This bar means actually per kilomole or the molar value. Instead, the specific volume is actually meter cube per kilogram. This is a specific volume. We divide by mass. But the molar specific volume, when we have this bar sign, that means actually this is a meter cube per meter cube per kilomole in this case. So V, V bar will equal to R bar multiplied by the temperature T. And this specific volume is called as actually the molar specific volume calculated in meter cube per 
we can feel per kilo mole in this case. Okay. But let's say we have an ideal gas undergo a process or a change actually from initial state one up to initial state two. How we can relate the properties and how we can calculate the properties in this case. So we have, let's say we have an ideal gas, so still we have time. So our ideal gas is going from one initial state one to our final state two. Okay. So in this case, we can apply ideal gas equation to state B1, V1 will equal to MR T1. And at state number two, B2, V2 will equal to V2 R T2. In this case, if mass is constant, if we divide the two equations, then in this case, mass will go with mass. R is the gas constant, which is fixed in this case. Then we can say B1, V1, over P2, V2 will equal to T1 divided by T2. Or we can just say V1, V1, this term divided by this term will equal to B2, V2 divided by T2. So B1, V1 over P1 is the same as B2, V2 divided by, divided by T2. Okay? This temperature ratio graph should be actually in Kelvin. Well, in most of the cases, you substitute in degrees. This temperature should be in Kelvin. This volume actually should be in meter cube. And this pressure, it depends. If it is bar here, then it will be bar here. If it is kilopascal here, then it should be kilopascal. If it is pascal, then it should be pascal. Okay? You have to unify the unit of pressure in this case. Okay? Time. Let's uh, solve an example here. Here we said the gauge pressure of an automobile tire is measured to be a given value. He said the gauge pressure. We said in the ideal gas equation of state, this pressure should be the absolute pressure in this case. Okay. So gauge pressure given, that means I need to calculate the absolute pressure, which is the gauge pressure plus P atmospheric. And P atmospheric should be given. If not given, then we can assume it's value equal to 100, 100 kilopascal. Okay. Type this automobile tire pressure is measured to be the gauge pressure. So B gauge one is equal to 210 kilopascal before a trip. And they said after this trip, B gauge two, the pressure of the tire has been raised actually to 220 kilopascal. And this is also the gauge pressure, B gauge 2. He gives here, he says the atmospheric pressure, B atmosphere, is equal to 95, 95 kilopascal. Okay? He said assuming actually the volume of the tire remains the constant, so V2 is the same as V1, and the initial temperature is equal to 25. So T1 is equal to 25 degrees. Okay? And we need to calculate the final temperature. So we require to calculate the final temperature T2. So in this case, you can just apply this equation. V1, V1 over T1 equal to V2, V2 over T2. He said V1 is the same as V2, so that will go together. He gave here the pressure P1, but this is the gauge pressure. So we have to calculate the absolute pressure. So B1 absolute will equal to the gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure, which will equal to 210 plus atmospheric 95 kilopascal. That pressure value should equal to 305 kilopascal. And the pressure B2 absolute will equal to B gauge 220 plus 95. That will equal to 315 kilopascal. That pressure should be the absolute, the absolute pressure. So now we have this pressure value B1, 305 kilopascal, and this pressure B2 is 315 kilopascal. What about the temperature T1? Temperature T1 is 25 degrees C. So it has to be in Kelvin, so plus 273.15. Then we can calculate the final temperature T2. The final temperature T2 is calculated. It will be in Kelvin 307.8. 
If I just subtract 273.15, then we can get this temperature actually in degrees C will equal to 74.8 degrees C. Okay. Time next time, inshallah, shabab, we will learn how to modify this ideal gas equation of a state because this equation only applied for the state of ideal gas when the gas is ideal gas under very low pressure or very low density. In this case, we can apply this equation. But if we have a gas actually under higher pressure or higher uh, different condition, we can consider it as real gas in this case. So in this case, the ideal gas equation of state cannot be applied. Or if it is applied, there will be actually a significant error in calculating the properties in this case. Time, inshallah, next time we'll learn how to modify this equation to be applied for the case of the real gas. Assalamu alaikum.